also Capricorns, um, you've got a little bit of a blast from the past energy that I feel coming through. And what that denotes to me is um, I feel like you have some temptations, okay? And the, the blast from the past could be something that you were, um, somebody that you were involved with that might have been outside of your relationship. Or it's somebody that you did not have a healthy relationship with, but, you know, the chemistry is great. And so I feel like it's a blast from the past coming into the picture to kind of throw the wrench in the works for those of you who are in existing relationships, okay? Um, I'm also feeling as well the major theme that I mentioned earlier in your love life um, in the general reading was that it's about, you know, old love versus new love, okay? The old love basically seems to me like it's um it's almost like somebody that you spent a lot of um a long period of time with and so there's that sense of history that you have with that person but ultimately you both have kind of outgrown each other but it's really hard for you to leave people you've outgrown because you know uh, history means a lot to you kind of like with the scorpio and the leos that sense of history that sense of like oh we've done so much together we did all of these things when we were children you know, like all the, the those the, the the sentimentality of the relationship, you cling on to it. It means a lot to you, and you have trouble letting go because of that process. So let me talk about this blast from the past. What we have here is the five of wands and the magician. I don't know if you can see this, but this energy is kind of like when you were a bachelor you know, at a previous point in your life, when you play the role of this magician, this is what I call the bachelor or the bachelorette. You can be male or female watching this. This is like, you know, going out very, very late at night, you know, like going out dancing, going out drinking, having the time of your life and, you know, just enjoying that phase of your bachelorhood and not caring about anything, not caring about, uh, um, landing that relationship partner and I feel like you might have had a lot of people who were interested in you you know a lot of people kind of like um, I, I want to say vying for your attention wanting to date you clamoring over you and then I'm also sensing for some of you especially the the more masculine Capricorns more male energy Capricorns you might have you know taken things for granted you had a lot of um, a lot of suitors at your door. You might have been kind of like on top of the game where you made a tremendous amount of money. You had a lot of success and people were clamoring, clamoring over you and you had a lot of one night stands and you found yourself at a point where you're just like, yes, it was fun and exciting and it was new people, but were you ultimately very happy? With this Ace of Cups in the reverse, this is kind of like lacking not only in love true spiritual love but it's also lacking in you know self-love okay so on the surface things looked really great you commanded a lot of attention you had a lot of success there's a lot of financial abundance but the people that were clamoring over you their energy is very low vibrational okay they were in it for the status, the prestige, and also the conquest. Or you yourself were in it for the status, the prestige, and the conquest. And it left you feeling very empty. And it left you feeling, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like when you were, you know, at the peak or the pinnacle of your success. There were a lot of people coming in. But when you're at a point where you're feeling emotionally drained or distressed or kind of unhappy, no one's around. So what do you have to show for yourself in terms of that true spiritual love? Were you able to achieve it? Did money get you where you need to go? Did it bring you, did it bring about that happiness, that true love that you're hoping for? Probably not, right? So what I'm feeling with this spread here is um, having a lot more, I, I feel like putting a lot more emphasis 
on having, you know, true spiritual connections, finding somebody that can nurture you, that, that feeds you, that clothes you, that takes care of you, no matter how much money you make. And I feel like these things, I'm just saying it and it sounds very intuitive, but I feel like for some of you Capricorns that might, might be watching this, I feel like you were spending your childhood. It was a mad dash. It was a mad scramble for resources. You've had to do a lot of things, you know, to build up your empire, to build up your wealth. And so in the process of doing that, you might have neglected your own emotional development. Okay. So I feel like some of you are dealing with this where you're just like out there looking for love, looking for love. And you've learned these lessons because now you're kind of like this. How do I manifest the right person? How do I manifest the love that is divine, that is, you know, uh, soul wrenching, that is right for me? How do I get rid of this energy where people are fighting and they just want me for, they want me for superficial reasons and they're not able to give me this grand love? And so I'm sensing that you're letting go of old habits and you're on the quest to find really, really true love. When I mentioned the blast from the past here, there is somebody um, in your life, and I feel like it can be male or female, but this um, magician energy is somebody who is very smart, who's very, very smart. Um, they can be a little bit cutthroat, and they can be a little bit like manipulative, distorts the truth. They're not, you know, they're showing up in the upright position, so they're not really lying to you but they kind of lie by omission or they kind of distort the truth to get you to think a specific way. And I feel like for whatever reason, there's some jealousy in this relationship. If you've left them behind and you're trying to move on with a new love, they're kind of like texting you, trying to get you riled up just to prove to themselves that, oh, that person is still cares about me or that person is still, you know, um, uh, heavily affected by me so of course they care about me so I feel like you have somebody in your life that's doing that and it's really important for you to kind of call this person out on it or at least choose not to respond in that manner to give them leverage over you because I feel like they're you know you're trying to move on and they keep trying to reel you back in and they keep trying to create uh, conflict create conflict so that, and it, the conflict is not because they want you back or it's not because, you know, they love you. They're doing it because they, they it's almost like they want to toy with you. So is it smart when you're dealing with someone who wants to just toy with you to engage in that, that energy? Probably not, right? So something to think about. And I also feel like this was somebody that you've had a long history with, okay? And it might be why it's so hard to let go. So other Capricorns. So we have here the Page of Wands. And this is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. This is someone who's very popular, very, very attractive, really attractive. I feel like, you know, they're dressed nice, they talk properly, they're, um, they take great care of their appearance, and they can be, um, a lot of people are clamoring for their attention is what I'm seeing with this sign. And I feel like, in a way, they're looking for love. They're looking for safety they're looking for comfort and they're looking for somebody that you know they want a relationship uh, that that wants a relationship with them and what i'm feeling as well it's linked up here with the eight of cups and the eight of cups is you know having um it, it's it's almost like if you're dealing with this fire sign they have they're like serious monogamous you know they go from long-term relationships and then they break up after years and years of being stuck in that relationship. And then they move on to another relationship where they stay for years and years. So something has to be really, really bad within the relationship for them to move away. So they a approach relationships very, very seriously. And I feel like in their past, 
they were a little bit naive. They were, um, you know, they're they're very attractive and very popular. But I feel like they're so serious about relationship that they think everybody is just as serious as they are. So they end up in a situation where they gave a lot of themselves. Their part, their ex partner was not appreciative, and so I feel like you're dealing with this person, and they're gonna put their heart on the line. And they're going to tell you, this is what I want. If you can't m match me or you've, if you have no intentions, just don't bother. So for some of you, this is a brand new person. If it is a brand new person, just know that they're very serious. You cannot play with their feelings if you're not into them or if you don't feel like uh, you want to be in a serious relationship with them. Do not play with this, okay? Because this is a very sensitive, deep down, very delicate person they guard their heart with a lot of pride and they don't sleep with random people and so you want to be a little bit careful okay um if this is somebody that you're dating things are going to be very phenomenally good for you because i feel like this is somebody that has a lot of pride that has a lot of honor that has a lot of dignity and integrity and they're going to make a very good relationship partner for you I'm also seeing, sen um, sensing like joining up with this person is a very, very good, um, I feel like you both can be a power couple. You both can inspire each other. Um, they can give you a lot of good ideas. You can help them finish projects. So I feel like you, there's a great sense of complementarity. There's also a great sense of, you know, the person is very inspiring for you. Um, when if you are invited for example to a social function they're dressed really well they're gonna be you know kind of like that that arm candy that that trophy or that eye candy on your arm and I know you're not dating them just for superficial reasons but I feel like it's an added bonus because I feel like they're sociable they know how to talk to your bosses they know how to talk to your co-workers and I also feel like they're just a, a joy to be around. So do not take this relationship lightly. It has the potential to go the distance. And I feel like it's best if this is a new person that's, you know, recently entered your life. If this is somebody that, you know, perpetually, if it's like a merry-go-around, I feel like they're trying to step up. <coughs> Excuse me. They're trying to step up. They're trying to be forthright. They're trying to be honest with you. But at the same time, I just feel this element about them like feeling a little bit bored in the relationship and they want new things. So you can fix this by re-injecting passion in the relationship or you should fix this if you're no longer emotionally invested in it. You know, see your way out because I feel like you have new opportunities coming into the picture. Um, and if it's a revolving door with this fire sign where, where you know, it's like a, a cycle break that cycle okay there's nothing here for you anymore so it is best if this fire sign uh sagittarius um aries or leo is a brand new person if it's a person from your past i feel like the time there's a limit and there's a time limit that has been reached the expiration date was you know two months ago and so you might want to see your way out okay but i feel like if it's a new person there's a lot of prosperity to be had so what else do we have here for the Capricorn people? So I'm seeing some of you are already in a relationship. Okay, the empress usually indicates the other woman or the other partner, somebody that you have a relationship with, um, somebody that has a title. So you can call them, you know, this is my girlfriend, my boyfriend, this is my uh, fiance, this is my wife or my husband. Some of you are already in a relationship. And I feel like, once again, that energy, I keep seeing that blast from the past. This might be the other person that you were kind of... Um, dilly dallying with outside the relationship okay so the person showing up here as an air sign this is somebody who is a little bit argumentative who's very um the the one thing that they have going for themselves is that they're very intelligent but they're also very clear about what they want you know but but the 
the involvement is not a heartfelt decision. I feel like it was just a lapse of judgment or I feel like, you know, getting involved with this person, uh, you might start to see that is a lot more trouble than it's worth, mainly because they might put on a very proud air that they don't need you, but deep down they're a lot more sensitive that, than they let on or for whatever reason, their interaction with you. At first, it seemed like it was just, you know, a one-night stand, a, a short-term fling. But then it turns out that they became emotionally, um, I want to say, it could be emotionally invested in you, or they are also after, you know, what you have to offer as well financially. So I feel like there was a relationship that you should not have been involved with. And now it's, it's like more trouble than it's worth, okay? So air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, sun, moon, or rising. This was not a relationship that you saw, you know, as being long-term. You did not want to propose to this person. Or this person just didn't take the relationship seriously. So there isn't any solid foundation to be built on it. You both don't see each other as long-term relationship potential. And if you are still in this, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, it's not going to go anywhere. If this is somebody that you were kind of um, with outside of your relationship, I want you to be very careful about things coming to light, things surfacing for this month. Because once again, we're dealing with like a little bit of karmic energy this month. And I don't know why that is. And I feel like it's just the universe telling you to clear up some things, declutter your love life so that you can focus your attention on things that matter or focus your attention back on you and you know career professional achievements and not waste your time with relationship relationships that you know don't have stability relationships where you know the other person has no interest in staying long term and giving you a title okay so that's what we're dealing with here this is air sign and i feel like it's very cyclical and it's not it's lighthearted you know and it is what it is. If you want to just have fun, that's fine. But if you want to invest months and years of your time, it's not going to be working out. So let me see. The last thing I want to pull out here is what advice do you have here for Capricorns for love, romance, and relationships? Okay, so family, in-laws, your own family, your own traditional beliefs, your own um, expectations, or even, you know, other people's expectations of you. It's going to feel very burdensome this month. With the Hierophant, the Hierophant deals with the institution of family, and it's going to feel a little bit like so let, let's just say, you know, and this is this can seem it feels to me to be a little bit more traditional and conservative and archaic. But let's just say you're dating somebody and they they happen to get pregnant. Right. And I feel big pregnancy vibes as well. Um, and your family is just like, you know, now you have to marry them. OK. Or you get pregnant. You, so you want to be careful. And then your family is just like you have to marry that person and you're nowhere near ready. So I feel like family meddling, uh, other people's expectations of you, it's going to be very problematic. And so the thing you need to identify here is what do people expect from me? And are they, you know, um, are they in the right to expect these things from me? Or are they just meddling? Are they just so bored with their lives that they're kind of chiming in and not minding their own business. So deciding for yourself, setting very clear boundaries, you know, get setting very clear boundaries. This is what I will or will not accept. That's going to go a long way. I'm also feeling as well, it's creating a lot of stress in your relationship. Okay. And I'm also sensing as well, if you've had like an ex, there are a lot of family meddling. There are a lot of, it's like too many chefs in the kitchen. And then also if you share children with an ex, the ex is the one creating problems as well to prevent you from moving on and having, you know, a harmonious kind of carefree romantic life. Okay, so 
decide once and for all where you need to sever ties, where you're giving your power away, and where you're stressing yourself for no reason, okay? I'm also feeling here, we have a water sign. This is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising at their best. And you know, um, this one screams out uh, Scorpio to me, so you might be involved with a Scorpio. This is somebody that um, I'm sensing they really cared about you, and um, the relationship between the, the two of you have been very, very tumultuous. There has been deception. There has been kind of like uh, somebody leading somebody down a rosy path and then abandoning them. So it was like things not coming to fruition. And there's a lot of guilt associated with dealing your dealings with a, um, a water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And my advice is, you know, if you're wracked with guilt, if you're dealing with a lot of this emotional turmoil and you're just like, I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done that. Guilt is a great feeling. It lets us know that our conscience is trying to speak to us, telling us what we should or should not do. And so guilt is, is good. It's a good indicator that we're becoming more human, we're becoming more moral, and that we have a moral compass or a moral obligation to a fellow human being to behave in a certain way. So that's what guilt does. It reinforces when actions are wrong. It reinforces when actions are right, okay? So it's not something that, um, I, I want to say, it, it's not something that you should dismiss. But at the same time, thinking about this guilt, ruminating over it, not being able to get sleep because of it, or, you know, replaying the event over and over and over and over in your head at night, it's not going to solve anything. If you feel guilty, apologize. And if that's not enough, that's when you have to kind of relinquish control and say, I did everything that I could on my part. I'm very remorseful. I'm very apologetic. And the other person knows that, but they choose not to respond. So that's up to them. And then on the other hand, if you have this water sign here that is keeping you very, very wrapped up where you're just like not really sure the direction of the relationship, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not leading to a long term stable relationship. Okay, they're kind of distorting the story and kind of painting a very rosy picture or even misrepresenting themselves. I feel like you're dealing with someone who is very, very, very jealous. Capricorns, you have a tendency to attract them because of your poker face. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody like that and it's not really serving its purpose. So if you're in this situation, I want to say it's not going to get better. So you need to, you know, find someone else. Find yourself in a different environment and just try to move past it, okay? So I'm going to leave you guys with that. I hope that is adequate advice, you know, for the month of November. I do feel new people. If you're dating that fire sign, it looks really good. So that page of wands that I saw earlier, water sign relationships looks very good. People who are coupled up, you really need to, you know, fix and reassure your partner because I feel like you're dealing with some jealousies, okay? So try to get those things in order. And for others of you, stable relationships, I feel like there's a lot of stress and strain when it comes to work. That's going to be affecting the relationship. Don't bring that stuff home, okay? So I wish you the best. Take care of yourself, and I'll be back for the mid-month reading.